Well, well, well. Season two of LEGO Fortnite is officially here and we have hardly anything new in the game. If you guys have seen the patch notes or any other videos, you probably know this already, but let's go through the patch notes super quickly just so you guys are fully informed. So we'll go through these patch notes very quickly with you guys. And as you can see, the first thing that they talk about is the steering wheel. Basically, they said it'll come in a new update later this month. But scrolling down a little bit more, we'll get to the main focus of this update, which is the sets. Now, this is my first time talking about them and don't worry, I'm about to buy all of them. But before we do that, let's go ahead and check it out. But there's a Beach Boulevard set. There's the Dur Burger bundle. And then later on, they're releasing the Lion's Knight Castle bundle. And uh, that's basically it. You could pause to read the gameplay updates, but it's really nothing exciting. Anyway, the reason that I breezed through those patch updates very quickly is because right now in the item shop, as you can see, we have our first ever Lego kits. Like we already saw in the patch notes, there's only two main bundles that are here, along with some extra items like these decor pieces, which in my opinion are actually super, super cool we got a little ketchup and mustard bottle and some durburgers anyway let's go to the main focus of this which are of course the actual bundles themselves which i'm gonna go ahead and just purchase off the bat but let's look at the options we have so for 1900 v bucks you can purchase essentially everything but if you scroll down you can actually purchase bits and pieces of the set as you can see here for 1500 v bucks you'll get the watchtower you'll get the gazebo you'll get the garage and a few other buildings which are super cool along with two different decor sets which wow these are cool as well oh my goodness i love that they're finally adding colors to this game it's something we've been missing for a very long time so that's exciting then if we go over to the 1200 it looks like we got these and you guys can pause if i'm going too quickly but this is everything we got in this set as well 1200 v bucks for the shoreside shack wow say that three times fast anyway if we scroll up we can purchase all of it together for 1900 v bucks which i'm gonna go ahead and do i will be purchasing every single bundle that ever comes to the item shop for this game because that's what i do and i'm kind of done um, also, I love this game, and if you guys want to watch me buy everything, then make sure you guys subscribe. Anyway, that's not it. We bought the boardwalk, so we have everything here, but if we scroll down, we also have the Dur Burger bundle. Same thing applies here. If we scroll down, there's different bits and pieces you can purchase. For 1800 V-Bucks, you can get, it looks like, the restaurant, a small version of the restaurant, and then some decor sets, as well as, whoa, wait. Wow, you can get a whole lot actually. Okay, so this one's pretty cool. 1800 V-Bucks for this. And then if we go over here, we can get just simply the decor pieces. These are okay, but you know, if you don't have the rest of the set, it's gonna be a little hard to theme them. Either way, I like that they're releasing bits and pieces. And then of course we have Beef Boss. Obviously this is the man in charge of Durburger headquarters. So it makes sense to release him in the item shop as well. Let's go ahead and purchase the Durburger bundle. Nice. So we got all of these new items. And if you guys are buying anything inside of the item shop, especially in Lego, it would mean the absolute world to me if you used code Kaz, three letters K-A-Z. I absolutely love all of you guys that use my code. And if you do, comment down below or post it on your Instagram story. I'm gonna be reposting people over on Instagram or if you let me know that you bought something with my code, I'll give you a little heart in the comments if I see it. Either way, them adding this stuff to the item shop is big for the future of this game for a lot of reasons. A lot of people are a little upset. A lot of people are excited. I'm gonna talk about my opinions on it, but let's also just go ahead and get into our world while we do it. And we are loaded into our game. So before we do anything, let's go ahead and open up our build blueprints and we should have quite a bit so if we scroll down under the shogun as you can see now we have all of these new build pieces oh my goodness i know i've always been against these prefab builds but today i i might have to go crazy with them anyway we got a lot of places that we can build as you can see right here we have the building complexity warning so we can't do any builds in our main area but right up ahead of me i've been meaning to put some builds down so i feel like it's the perfect opportunity to start experimenting with the beachside boulevard and the Durburger and all of the new sets we got but before we do all of that there's one thing in the v29.0 update that i needed to show you guys and it was that if you didn't know they've been talking about adding an item plate sort of thing for the fish in this game so you can go ahead and collect the rare fish and then put them up on your walls that is in the game now as you can see i just put two fish into my inventory and when you do you can actually come over here oh whoa there's so much new stuff oh my goodness where even is oh there it is you go over to wall decorations and as you can see i put a vendetta flopper and an orange flopper in my locker and for both of them i now have an item plate all i need is a plank to put it down um unfortunately i don't have a plank right now so let me grab one of those ah and there we go so with a plank as you can see we can now just place our flopper on the wall which is pretty cool maybe i'll make a room to store all of them but it is a pretty cool and unique looking piece obviously you can do it for every single type of fish you do have to have the gold version of it though i only have a purple vendetta flopper and it doesn't let me put it down which is very unfortunate but you know that just means i gotta get to grinding anyway let's put these away for now and let's put our planks away let's get our inventory cleared out so we can get into the main focus of today's video 
video, which is, of course, the building. And we have made it up to the top of this hill. As you can see, we're on the opposite side of the lake where we normally are. And there's a nice piece of flat land, which is honestly perfect. Oh, Okay, it's honestly perfect to put down one of these prefabs so we can try it out for the first time. So if we open our inventory, I want to show you guys a little bit more because off camera, I realized that not only do we get the prefabs, but we obviously also get the floors, the walls, the staircases, the fences, all of those kinds of things. So if we go through now, we have some really cool options. And obviously I need to talk about how I feel about this because, you know, I had to pay real life money for V-Bucks to get these little in-game pieces. And I don't really know. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm going to be honest with you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think i'm not the biggest fan of it especially at the prices we have to pay i will always do it because you know i am a lego fortnite youtuber and i feel like it's my responsibility so you guys don't have to buy them if you just want to watch my videos but i know that a lot of you guys do want them and it does suck that they cost so much i mean 20 bucks each basically i've seen a lot of the same feedback whenever lego is posted about these sets in general so i know i'm not the only person that feels like that and you know don't get me wrong in general i think the sets are a great idea i'm very very happy they're in the game because because without them, you know, we'd be stuck to the wood and stone buildings that we've had forever. So this definitely spices things up. But at the same time, it's not something that everybody can get, which I don't really like. But again, it is just nice that we have these things. So let's go ahead and put down our first little house here. I think I'm going to have to actually destroy every single little thing because it's not letting me put it down. Okay, so we can make franchise, which is the restaurant, which I'm not going to make right now. I need to decide where I want to put that because there's not a lot of room down there. Maybe I'll build it up there or I don't really know. I'm trying to decide this on the spot. As you can see, these items just came out. So I want to get this video out as soon as possible. Let's go with the beach house here because I have an idea. I'm going to put the restaurant up there and that hill is going to be where we produce all of our foods because why would we not produce the foods at the restaurant? I feel like it makes sense. So I'm going to do that. Anyway, we dropped down the foundation for this build. So let's go ahead and start and while i'm building this i guess i can talk a little bit more about the sets like i said i'm very excited in general about them but again i can totally understand where people are coming from when they say they don't want to buy them or don't want to shell out the money for them and one thing that's in the patch notes that i haven't talked about yet they did say that they're going to be rolling out free builds in future updates where you won't have to pay v bucks for them and i hope that those are good as well you know obviously we haven't seen any new builds come to the game for free since the game launched so i'm not too sure what to expect there but once they start Start rolling those out i guess we'll see what the difference is between the paid ones and the free ones and hang on i want to take a look at this you can see the blue walls they look amazing but i think they're going to look even better in the daytime so i'm going to keep on building this oh my goodness this door looks sick okay i'm going to keep on building this but when it's daytime i'll catch up with you guys again so we can take a look at where we're at but yeah for now i'm going to speed run this build and i'll see you guys soon and with these two pieces down the build is complete so taking a look at this thing from the front obviously the sun is not out but you can tell that it's blue which is very nice considering everything else in this game is very gray and brown again we have to pay for these colors but there's so many new colors and different staircases and railings and things that you know didn't exist before so that's exciting and as somebody who plays this game every day it's a small price to pay so i will happily do that anyway let's take a tour through this beach house shall we i don't know what i'm gonna put in here yet but as you can see when we walk into the first floor there's two wings with different rooms and then the hallway not much to see in here let me know if you guys know what i should put inside of here especially since there's no villagers this could be my my house i guess but i don't know yet let's go to the second story though as you can see when we come into here we got a nice big room this could be like a living room type of vibe obviously requires some furnishing but then you come over here to the staircase and there's also some room under here i feel like you can add storage or something there but if you come up this way all the way up the spiral staircase you get to the top which is just a balcony there's not even a lot of room inside of this room here so not much you can really build out or design we'll go ahead and close the door for now but that's basically it that's the entire building it costs a lot of wood to build but again, definitely wanted to experiment with it. And I think it looks very, very cool. Anyway, let's hop over to Sandbox so I can build some of these other pieces. Okay, and after a little bit of building in Sandbox, I have every single prefab that I purchased in the item shop earlier. So let's take you on a quick tour of all of them before we end off this video. As you can see, first off, we have the Durburger set. If we go down here, I'll show you every single one in order. So we can go through this first one, which is the smallest restaurant. If we open the door here, it's not much. I mean, it's a tiny little building. You can jump over the counter and exit through the back again i think the best part about this is just the colors of them i mean i've said that a thousand times so you guys are probably sick of me saying that anyway this is the biggest restaurant as you can see if we fly over it it's super long and if you've ever played fortnite battle royale this is basically a one-for-one -one recreation of the restaurant that's actually in the game so that's pretty interesting if we go through here obviously it's unfurnished as always so we can go ahead and build our own decorations into it but if you don't then it's going to be pretty dang empty we can go up to the second floor as well 
all the same buildings you can go this way and there's yeah you can even get in the roof so if you've played battle royale this one should look familiar to you which is very very cool and then again the last one is two stories it's still pretty small but it's not bad when we go inside of here we got a staircase and then of course the counter very fun because obviously there is all of the furniture that comes with it for instance stuff like this we can literally just drop a drinking fountain down and that's sick you could drop the little cash registers where they need to go and with these inside of here it makes it look a lot more filled out as you can see but then coming up to the top floor we got this little dining area and then a patio as well with the sign up here that's pretty sick and then coming over here to the beach boardwalk set i mean i've already built one of them so i skipped on that one but we have the other i believe it's six things one two three four five six yep and a lot of them are pretty small so we'll go through these ones quick so this is the first one it's just a little lookout tower not much to see there just a little staircase wrap around this is a barnyard with double doors and it's a tiny little one by one room so not much to see there either this one is a little bit bigger it's a shed another overlook with a staircase and then over here we got this dual sided gazebo it's got the staircase on both sides as you can see and when you come up here it's fully outdoor i really like this one I feel like you have a lot of room to add some nice dining tables and different furniture and lookouts and things like that so this one's cool then we got this building here i think this one is actually yeah it's like a full little house this one's sick and then there's this back door little staircase oh there's also a bottom floor i didn't even realize that whoa wait that's actually insane you can only access it from the back that's pretty cool and then lastly we have this two-story or actually three-story building but there's nothing on the bottom so you go up this first staircase you got the little patio deck you can go inside of here and actually there's a little bathroom type uh actually this wouldn't be a bathroom because you wouldn't want a window in your bathroom there's a little room here hallway and this and then you can actually go out and up and then there's a second floor as well with again a nice little nook yeah you got this third story little room and there's a lot of potential here with all of these builds obviously like i said the main thing you'd want to do in the interiors is design it because they're super super boring inside when you just build out the prefab but i wanted to go ahead and share all of those with you so i hope you enjoyed this video today let me know what you guys think of these lego sets let me know if you'll be buying any down below and i'm gonna start doing giveaways i mean i have a ton of v bucks on my account now and i can go ahead and gift you guys some as long as i get you added up so if you watched all the way until the end and only for those of you who watched all the way until the end comment your epic down below i'm gonna add a few of you and i'll gift you some of these along with some of the other ones that are coming out in the future so yeah make sure you guys are subscribed and i will catch y'all later thank you so so much for watching all the way until the end it's been boy kaz peace